is Sequoia. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a sew along demonstration video for you and we will be making the Love Notions Sloan Sweater which is a pattern that I have sewn up several times myself. I really like that it has so many options that I can really get a customized look depending on what I'm going for. So first let's talk about a few of the options. Um, first off this pattern comes with two views. One is a fitted bodice and there's a relaxed fit, so you can choose what your preference is. Um, there's two different finishing hemlines. You can turn and hem the high-low um, bottom, such as this. Um, it's a very slight difference for the high-low. It's not like a dramatic curve at all, so it's, it's just a really nice classic look. And you can also finish your top with a banded hem, such as this. Um, this black version I made is a hack that I did here on my channel. Um, so you can picture a longer length with this banded hem. Same thing. There is also um, options to go with your shirt. You can choose the color blocked yoke and it actually goes all the way across the back shoulders. Um, just for a little bit of contrast. Or you can choose obviously without, such as this. Um, you can choose to add elbow patches which is just really kind of fun, um, just a little detail that's kind of interesting, gives you a chance to do some more color blocking if that's your thing. There is a hood, or you can add a kangaroo pocket for the really classic hoodie look. It's up to you. This pattern comes in sizing from extra small to 5X. All sizes do include the full bust adjustment, should you need that. The work's already been done for you, which is wonderful. Um, this pattern works out perfectly for light to medium weight fabrics. So in my um, my little mini collection of Sloan's here, this is a lightweight eyelet knit. Um, this fabric came from Stitching Pretties. I absolutely love it. I love that it's just basically the easiest way to add sleeves over a tank top style dress. Um, I'm currently wearing the version we're going to be making in our video today. And this is a Liverpool, also from Stitching Pretties. And this is like a, a mid-weight sweatshirt fabric, just a really nice, nice weight and works out so perfectly for the Sloan sweater. Um, I like all three of my versions and it's just really one of those patterns that you can use for so many different looks depending on what you're going for. So I'm going to include my affiliate link down below if you would like to pick up the Sloan sweater. I appreciate you using my links. Um, there's also going to be links to the fabric, of course, because we all need some more fabric. Um, so stay tuned, watch the video, let me know how you like it. If you enjoy it and you learn something new, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button so you'll be made aware when I add additional videos. So thanks for stopping by today. Hope you enjoy the show. As you can see, I have already cut out my fabric for the Stallone sweater. I'm using this black and white um, Liverpool print from Stitch and Pretties just for something a little different. I have a couple Salones, but I don't yet have one in Liverpool. So I thought I would use this really fun or horizontal striped fabric to sew one up to match the Sabrina Slims I recently finished. So I've already obviously assembled my pattern and cut everything out. I'm making the long sleeve version, but the pattern has quite a few options. So take a look and decide what you want. Um, the first thing I do is <clears throat> clip my front and back bodices together at the shoulder seams. And that is where we're going to start stitching. Um, this is a really quick pattern. Especially if you don't do like, um, there's an option for, um, there's an option for, um, like elbow patches and a couple other things. You can do... Um, with a contrast yoke at the shoulder area, um, which I have several of those. So this one I just cut a solid, so it's going to be exceptionally quick. I want to get this finished today so I can take some photos. Um, weather here in Ohio has been a little weird, so... Um, I keep saying it's going to snow, but it doesn't. I'm not sure. So 
So there are our shoulder seams. And the next step I like to put, I like to assemble, um, I like to put my sleeves in, in the flat. Um, so really all you have to do is lay your um, bodice together where it's been sewn at the shoulder seams. Lay it out flat on your table. Determine your front from your back and you can do that by um, the lower neckline is the front for this particular pattern. Now we just want to take our sleeve pattern and um, you can see that I have used two slits to determine the back of my sleeve. And I made one center little slit just so I know where to match it up. So match your center point up with your shoulder seam. Um, be mindful that you are using the matching up the two slashes that indicate the back of your sleeve cap to the back bodice of your um, Salon sweater. So then you can just clip that in or pin if you're a pinner. I prefer to use clips with my serger. Um, a few times when I first got it, I used uh, pins and damaged a couple blades. So clips are safer, they're easier to see. Um, you won't accidentally serge one. Um, So there's one sleeve clipped in, and I like to do them both at the same time. Again, we now know this is the front. I really like this fabric. It has a nice texture. If you're not familiar with Liverpool, it has a texture on... It's definitely noticeable on the front of the fabric. In the back, it looks textured, but this particular one is smooth. Um, again, match up your center notch with your shoulder seams, and I like to push my um, seam allowance towards the back. This pattern, um, the saloon sweater, works really nicely with um, your French terries, your sweater knits. Um, I think it's going to be lovely in this Liverpool, but like I said, I haven't made one in Liverpool yet. I have one that's a heavy sweatshirt fabric that's super nice. I wore it the other day to work. Um, it was nice and warm. But I actually like a lot of, um, I have quite a few different items made out of Liverpool. I find that it doesn't get overly hot, even though it's obviously synthetic. Um, it doesn't get super hot. Um, I can wear it all summer long. So once we got these clipped, we will be ready to sew. Now we're ready to stitch our sleeves to our bodice. Um, again, I'm going to serge them. I'm just adjusting as I go, um, which is what you do. Any any sound project. Even though we take the time to pin and clip, I mean, you're still always going to need to adjust it a little bit. Always be careful to keep your extra fabric away from your blade. I'm 
sure we all have that one horror story about when we were just finishing up a garment and accidentally got some of the um, lower fabric caught in the serger blade and cut a hole <laughs> somewhere in your garment. I think I've done it twice. Um, it's very frustrating. It's really frustrating if it's not something you can hide, like um, a hole like an inch away from a neckline or something. There's no chance. <laughs> set in both of our sleeves um, on the flat. Now if we just match up, we're going to sew our side seams together. So I always start at the underarm seam and put a clip there. I clip the bottom and then I clip at the wrist of the um, garment. And then just pick a point somewhere near the middle. I did not match my stripes when cutting um, simply because I only have two yards of this fabric and that's exactly the length you really need for the tunic. Um, but also these stripes are various sizes. Even though they're both black and blue, I think they range from, I don't know, roughly a quarter inch to probably an inch um, so I didn't feel like it would be like glaringly obvious that the stripes weren't matched um, if this was something like a black and white and everything was a half inch I would absolutely make the effort to match it um, but I think because of the varying um, widths of the stripes it will be okay and actually I've sewn this fabric before if you follow my blog you will know my mom has a dress made out of this this exact same fabric from Stitch and Pretties um, I made her a little outfit I made her a dress and a cardigan and I think she had a pair of pants that all coordinate um, Stitch and Pretties runs a really great deal that is um, buy two continuous yards of any fabric other, outside of the clearance. Clearance is excluded. So any two yard cut and Laura, the owner, will send you a one yard matching coordinate. Which is awesome. I mean, I love it. It gives me a chance to try stuff that I may not normally buy for myself. And sometimes it's been really like wow I've been really surprised I've loved it like there was an eyelet fabric that I would have never ordered stretch eyelet for myself but I used the yard she sent me and then I ordered some more because I liked it so much <laughs> and actually I used that eyelet fabric to do a I actually used the Sloan pattern which is kind of funny I used the Sloan pattern to make a cropped um, long sleeve um, top to wear over another Love Notions pattern, the summer basic dress. I can actually link you to that. It was a really, it was a really fun tutorial.
so you can see how quickly this shirt comes together. Um, we almost have it fully put together now. Essentially now we have a tunic. We just need to put on our neckbands and I believe, I think I cut um, sleeve cuffs but I did not do a um, bottom hem band. Um, so here you can see we have a, uh, we have the basic shape of our tunic and I'm going to do our neckband next and we are going to wrap this one up.